SMT Nation, we back. Nation, do check out the links in the description. One of them for our partner, Mint Mobile. Get a great deal on wireless service, incredible promotions, and other great deals from them. Uh, so that partner link is in the description. Also, buy me a coffee. I love coffee. So if you want to help out the SMT directly, do so with that link in the description as well. Thank you, guys. All right, now for today, we're going to take a look at this news piece that came out yesterday at the time of this recording. And I thought it was noteworthy, so I wanted to bring it to the forefront here on the channel. Verizon engineers using the 5G ultra wideband technology suite have achieved 1.2 gigs per second upload speed. Incredible. That's so fast. Uh, to give you guys perspective on that speed, I have AT&T's fiber service for home, and my upload speed is 1 gig per second, and that is directly to a line. Uh, an Ethernet cable. So <laughs> 1.26 gigs upload over wireless is nothing short of impressive. Uh, that type of upload is the type of thing that we need to see happening, I think, for a couple of use cases. Number one, you think about the the high data demand during situations where there's a lot of people in certain places at the same time. So you think about like the Super Bowl that's up and coming. You think about sporting events. Obviously, those times seem to make sense. I think also the home internet customer, right? This seems like something that would be a requirement to support that type of thing. So whether you're uploading high resolution quality video, like on my channel, you'll see some of my field testing videos I do are like 4K, you know, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second. Those file sizes get like... 10 gigs in size. Those are the types of upload things, the upload speed that you'll need. Uh, now, the details for the connection, it says it was 20 megahertz of LTE. So that tells me an aggregation with the 400 megahertz of millimeter wave from the 28 gigahertz band, which I, if I remember correctly, I think it's N261. That, that basically tells me this is still an NSA connection. All right, so it's not even... It's not even the SA 5G that we're excited to see come to market soon and become commercially available. So now you got Verizon doing the 4.3 gig per second download. We've been seeing 4 gig on millimeter wave for at least a year or so now, maybe a little bit longer. Uh, but when aggregated with C-band, Verizon's doing like 4.3 gigs per second. All right. So and and with newer modems and with improved technologies and time. We expect to see this capacity to continue to improve and increase. So Verizon's got between 140 and 200 megahertz of C-band nationwide. Uh, they've got 60 megahertz of it live now in most cities. In a couple of dozen, in a few dozen cities, they've got 100 megahertz live. Those numbers are going to be, you know, those channels will get wider, and then more places are going to be getting freed up and cleared. For the rest of that c-band don't forget verizon is going to be utilizing cbrs in both 5g and lte uh so so these these speeds should continue to increase and improve i think what's going to be most important is just the aggregation those combination those channel combos to enhance and increase that uh performance but man this is really cool again i think those are the two use cases that most notable are identifiable to me is going to be you know this this incredible speed for the home internet customer all right to give them a better experience and i think for the mobile user in those really high leverage situations verizon pushing the envelope pokes uh i will say that i i, th I see t-mobile doing stuff like this too right with their different aggregation combos they got a lot of spectrum and they got in a few different bands you know so they do this sort of thing too and we report those all the time all right so Salute to the carriers doing innovative things, trying to enhance connectivity and move the industry forward. Good stuff. And it seems like Verizon's always on the cutting edge too, working on things in the lab and then bringing them to market pretty soon. When do we see this commercially? Uh, you know, it's possible we see it this year. You know, um, I don't know. We'll see how it scales though, you know, and what places get it and where people can access it. All right, we shall see. What do you guys think of that performance? Tell me. You all the voice of the people, the SMT Nation, let your voice be heard. Like, share, subscribe for more. Turn on the bell notification icon to never miss an upload. Links in the description for all things going on with the channel. 
Big shout out to the YouTube members and the patrons for supporting me on this platform and making channel and content possible here. Buy me a coffee, folks. I love coffee. And don't forget to check out the partner mint mobile links are all in the description. Thanks for watching. See you all in the next one. Peace.